Hey you guys, it's Janai. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be seeing what objects can and cannot fit through my gauges. Why? Because why not? Two, I don't know about you if you have gauges, but something I've always done every single time I've gone up a size is see what can and cannot fit now. Like just randomly like, oh, I have a hole through my ear. Like, let me see what I can fit through it, you know? I don't know if that's just me. Well, it's not just me because my friend also told me she does that too. Three, before I started my gauges and I was trying to like get an idea of what size I wanted to be, I always wish there was a video like this that used a bunch of different references to show how big the sizes are I am a size double zero and I do have two why because I want to <laughs> get it because I want to because I want to <laughs> anyway this one is a double zero this one is an 8g and nothing can really fit through this one yet because it's really small also like I said this is a double zero but I never meant to have this big of a hole in my ear like this is my first time wearing silicone ones and I don't know if these ones like stretch it a little bit more because it's like elastic or something or like what but normally if you watch any of my other videos I normally have these ones in these rhinestone ones and like I don't know these ones just look a little smaller I don't know like when I put these ones in with these silicone ones I was like whoa my gauges are way bigger than I ever thought like I would look at the size of my gauges and be like nah I was never trying to go that big so I'm definitely not stretching any size past this this is good I don't normally wear silicone ones like I said I normally wear these so yeah. If you guys want to see a video of me showing you guys all of the different sizes, I can do that for you because I do have the like starter kit from like 14G to double zero so I can just like show you guys all of them. But for today, I have like 40 different items that I'm just going to stick through my ear to see if they fit or not and if they go all the way through yeah i'm just gonna show you guys all the items first and then i'm gonna have the timestamps in the description box for you to like just go straight to which one you want to see and then i have a penny nickel dime and a quarter just to show you guys for comparison some of the items that i have obviously can or cannot fit but it's just used as a reference to see how big they are like how big a double zero is because a lot of things say a double zero is the size that once you get to it you can't ever go back to like a normal piercing i don't know if that's true or not but this is what a double zero is and then everything beyond that is like those inches like fractions of an inch and stuff like that so i'm just gonna go through all the items that i have and then i'm gonna get started i have a reusable silicone straw a lashes wand a little paintbrush an incense a crochet hook a number two pencil some nyx butter gloss this self-defense thing some lip balm that tool that the dentist be using to look at the back of your teeth a toothbrush and y'all this is that three-sided toothbrush that I saw all over TikTok and I just had to try out. <laughs> Some NYX lip liner, a small and large honeycomb, a Q-tip, a bobby pin, some tweezers, an AirPod, a comb, an edges brush, a makeup brush, a pen, a AAA and AA battery, a scent bird perfume, the arm of some sunglasses, an iPhone charger, I mean do both ends, this curling wand. It would be helpful if I knew what size this curling wand is, but I don't. A drumstick and I have every size of flexi rods so I think that's all the items if I missed anything I'll just put it in the video anyway if you want to go to any particular items like I said I'll have timestamps in the description box but let's get started I'm so curious because some of them I know obviously fit but I didn't try everything yet so oh I forgot something these waist beads and these shoelaces okay now let's get started
Okay you guys, so that was all the items that I had. I was honestly really surprised that some of the items that did not fit, didn't fit. Like I really thought that the AAA battery was gonna fit. I knew the AA battery probably wasn't gonna fit, but the AAA battery I really expected to fit. And I also did not expect that green one to get stuck in my ear like that. Like I feel like I could have pulled it all the way through, but it was giving me a hard time and it was about to pull the earring out, like no. So I thought the green one was gonna fit, the yellow one maybe, and I knew anything bigger than the yellow flexi rod was not gonna fit. So yeah, that was my little video or whatever. I thought that was pretty interesting. I think having gauges is really cool. I did this photo shoot one time with my gauges where I threaded the um, yarn through my ear. It was, it was cool. I'll see if I can find it. If I can, I'll include it right here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just comment below. Also, like I said, if you guys are interested in the video where I show you guys the different plugs and tunnels for different sizes um, from 14, which is where you usually start. Sometimes you start at a 16, but from 14 to double zero, which is where I'm at, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Drop a comment and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.